Elizabeth Hagen is a writer, a spiritual writer, and um, as a pastor as well, she uh, sends out every week to those on her email list a word of the week. I've shared some of these with you in the past. And her word of the week for this week is loosen, loosen. This is what she says about that. She asks, I'm wondering if you could name something that you've believed your whole life. Is there a practice you've done for as long as you can remember? Is there something that you've always counted upon to be just so? To answer yes to any or all of these questions is common to all of our experiences of being human. We crave stability. We like knowing what we know, even if our world is always changing. But lately, she said, I've been asking myself this question. Is there anything in my life that I need to loosen? Or more specifically, she said, is there a conviction, a practice, or expectations in a relationship that I need to let go of? She says, please know that I'm not talking about messing what is foundational in your life or is a part of the core of who you are. We all have those things about us that simply never change, and that's great. Rather, I'm advocating for some simple purging, releasing who you no longer need as much. Asking of your life's activities and values, is this really mine? Am I doing, believing, caring something simply because it's what I've always done? Or is it what I really believe or think or want to do? Loosening often starts with some basic questions and being still enough to hear the answers. Loosening. Is there something in your life that you need to let go of or loosen the grip on in your life? And if so, in doing so, will it bring you a little bit more joy? We like to be in control. Most of us do. It's sort of how we regulate our lives. And when we're in control, we have a tight grip on everything around us and sometimes the people around us. Let's ask God if we need to loosen our grip some. In fact, even let some of those things go completely. That instead of hurting us, might in fact help us a little bit in our daily journey. Loosen, the word of the week. Tonight, Wednesday night, is Ash Wednesday. This is Ash Wednesday, and we're going to have Ash Wednesday worship here in the sanctuary when we begin our journey to the cross during this Lenten season. I hope you'll be here this Wednesday evening, the 14th, at 7 p.m. for a short service here in the sanctuary. The ashes will be imposed for those who desire that as well. We'll have a little reflection as well. It'll be a brief service, but begins at 7 p.m. We'd love to have you join us. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your week and a blessed start to your Lent.